everyone, I'm Kate Riley James and this is your Street Games Urban Orienteering Workshop when together we're going to create a fun trail for everybody to have a go at and we're going to do it in six easy steps. Now the first step is the most important, coronavirus is still around and we all want to go out and have fun safely so we're recommending that you only create a trail in your family, friends or community bubble. Don't share your art materials with other groups wash and sanitise your hands regularly and if necessary wear a face covering to protect yourself and others. Now step two, you need to decide where you want to create your trail, you can do it indoors or outdoors, you can go from your front door to your garden gate, you can get the neighbours involved and go all the way down the street, the world is your oyster but the first thing you need is a start and a finish line. Now the easiest way to do this is with chalk but if you can't get your hands on some chalk we've got some easy ways to create some colourful signs at home. Step three, we've used some old cardboard boxes from cereal, we've used the backs of birthday cards and we've even used the back of some old copier paper as well to make our lovely colourful signs. So you don't necessarily need chalk, you just need some pens, some crayons, some pencils, some stencils, a hole punch to put some holes in or some sellotape and sticking these to your wheelie bin or to the pavement outside or to your garden fence works just as well as chalk. Now step four is all about using your imagination. We all used to love playing hopscotch back in the day but one to ten's a little bit boring now so how about mixing things up with some challenges? Get your friends to stomp and roar like a dinosaur. How about drawing some emoji stepping stones? How about doing some star jumps, striking a pose or blowing a kiss? All of those things can get mixed in into your trail to get your friends and family and neighbours having fun. Now step five is all about getting competitive. How about creating two trails on either side of the street and getting competitive with your neighbours? Who will be the fastest? Now step six is the easiest one, have fun. 